Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to RimWorld Mod Testing. Today we are looking at the Rimsonol Security Pack. Uh, so, as always, we have research. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got Smart Mine. Uh, Graydale Defense Emplacement, Shard Sentry, Wave Emitter, and Jutan Siege? I don't know, something like that. It's a Siege Placement. Now, I believe, well, once we get these people researching here, I believe there's some that were already unlocked. Uh, cause I think like the explosive barrel was unlocked by us having bio. <coughs> ah, sorry about that. Uh, bio refining. That might be the only one. I don't know. We'll look here in a second once I get these set up here. Alright. Uh, you all good now? Okay. So let's go security tab. Alright. So, okay. We get the dummy that's added by them. Which is okay. Oh, you can make uh, a bunch of crap, huh? Well, we'll just stick with cloth. Uh, but I was going to say, which is good timing because a uh, few of my dummies got uh, destroyed when I got attacked by mechanoids so we'll just throw a few up in there and call it good yeah these mechs from that uh, the mech hive thingy attacked me uh, what a mess but thankfully only a few of my people were injured and not drastically I did lose a f my uh, two scythers and my inquisitor. Lost those, but yeah, I'd rather lose uh, mech units than lose human well pawns. So anyway, security. Uh, apparently, there is a cannon that is added. Uh, let's see. Running out of space down here. I need to get this stuff moved to the other site, too. Alright, let's, uh, I think we'll build it, like, right here. For now. Alright, so there was the cannon. Uh, the fuel barrel. Which, like I said, I believe is unlocked with the, uh, bio refining um okay so then we get the singularity mine uh kinetic sniper turret that was, yeah that's security pack you get a mortar okay that one's different that one oh how did i miss these the harvester cannon and the uh, uh mortar huh well, I assume mortar. Well, oh, I was gonna say, is it one of them that I gotta load up with things like these mortars? Oh, but we'll build it over here just because. Yeah, wanna see what. Uh, it takes power, so maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, and then you got the harvester cannon. Or. Yeah, harvester cannon. <laughs> Looks like they all require uh, people to operate them, though. That kind of sucks, but whatever. It is what it is. I don't know how I missed those, though. Now, how much are these decoys? They're 30 cloth, 30 wood. And these things are 15 still, one component, and 50 cloth. Dang, man, these things are expensive. Um, hello. Uh, don't think we need that many. 
I didn't realize they were that expensive. Uh, well, that's only four, whatever. We'll put them up there. So let's uh, finish up research here. And uh, wait, where did Jason go? Jason, hello. You maybe work on that? That would be cool. Hey. Stinking pikemen were so slow getting to the battle they never made it. The advanced scyther man, he took a lot of damage. I don't know how you repair these things though. It says that they can be repaired here, but I don't know. Okay, wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Hello. Uh that kinda went pretty quick there. Alright, um I forgot. Uh to put down, I wanted to put down the Singularity Mine. Which one? Okay, that was the fuel barrel. Uh, the Kinetic Sniper. Uh, we'll put there. Uh, and then, oh great, now there's a missile launcher. I, okay. Uh, machine gun. Again, it looks like people have to man these though. Uh, smart mine. That was another one that they just added. Uh, okay. This is, wait, did we already do the still can? Yeah, we already did the cannon. Alright, then there's the AGS nest. Which again looks like something people have to man. HMG nest. Again, similar. We have other nest like it, I believe. Somewhere. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, and we have the gun complexes. No, we have. Because there's this gun complex. We have the charge complex. Yeah, here. HMG complex. I thought we had something like that. Okay, anyway, uh mud moat. Which one added that? Oh. Okay. Uh oh, there it was. HM Okay, anyway I'm rambling. Um let's see, the shard sentry. We'll stick right there. And that looks like that was the last of the ones that we finished researching, so. Okay, so this the wave emitter. Uh, wave emitter's right there. Let's build that one right there. And, let's see. The last one is that uh, Jotun, um, it's the other one here, uh, no, not that one, uh, dang it, uh, wasn't that one, is it, is it the molten one, I don't know, I forget which group it is, but <clears throat> it's one of them. Anyway, uh, where is it? Uh, Baba Molten Cannon. Okay, I guess that was it. And uh, Barrage Turret. So that would be the Molten guys over here. No, these ones. Yeah, these ones here. Alright, so it's the Molten Cannon. And a Barrage Turret. Heard, which requires power, but we will just stick it right there. Okay, now. Okay, so now they're going to start working on building those. Let's see. The mortar building. Uh, I guess it would be easier just to go this way. Um, where do we start here? Uh, 
these ones we missed with the old one, so we'll look at it. Uh, the harvester can takes 15 uh, crucible core, 220 florum, 200 steel, 12 components. The mortar takes 20 crucible core, 250 florum, 250 steel, 15 components, and 3 advanced components. The shard sentry takes 175 steel. 35 plus steel, 6 components, 1 advanced component. The wave emitter takes 175 steel, 45 plus steel, 8 components, and 2 advanced components. HMG nest takes 250 steel and 6 components. AGS nest, AGS nest, oh my. Uh, takes 350 steel and 8 components. The machine gun takes 175 steel, 5 components. The missile launcher takes 175 steel, 8 components. Uh, the kinetic sniper turret takes 175 steel, 35 plus steel, 6 components, 1 advanced component. Singularity mine takes 10 plus steel, 2 components. The fuel barrel takes 40 chem fuel and 10 steel. Uh, the cloth dummy we already looked at. Uh, though, I guess if you didn't have the cloth or if you had like an abundance of some other leather, you could uh, make it out of that. So, but anyway, it takes the 15 steel, 1 component, 50 cloth or your leather of choice. Uh, molten cannons, 280 steel, 8 components, 50 plus steel. Barrage turret is 280 steel, uh, 8 components, 50 plus steel, 1 advanced component. The smart mine is 30 steel, 20 plus steel, 1 advanced component, 1 regular component. And the steel cannon is six components, one reinforced barrel, and 50 steel. So yeah, that's basically a mortar, I guess. Though, you can make it out of something other than steel. So if you wanted to not spend steel and you had, say, more uh, uranium than steel, you could use uranium. Either way, it's still going to cost you 50 of whatever you choose to make it out of so <clears throat> just keep that in mind alright so they're slowly getting this stuff built here uh, let's see um, okay we got the still cannon yeah so you pick your shells that you want to put in it uh, we're going to clear all for right now because I don't want to put any in there right now. But yeah, it's basically a mortar. Uh, 40 range. 4 miss radius, 4 second warm up. Rearm cost is a reinforced barrel. Shots 20 until you have to uh replace the barrel so I think that's similar to regular mortar right as far as well other than the range of a regular mortars like 500 uh 20 shots and warm ups four seconds miss radius is nine. So, yeah, other than the range, and uh, it has a smaller miss radius, too, I guess, but it's shorter range, too, so, yeah, gotta take that under advisement. Fuel barrel, basically, big rib barrel that contains chem fuel, and as you expect, it goes boom. <laughs> so, that's what it does. <clears throat> uh, oh, and almost didn't even see that. 
Singularity Mine, uh, Advanced Mine w with the Motion Tracker. This mine explodes immediately when an enemy is detected. When it explodes, it slows down the ones around it. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so basically it is a slow you down type of mine, huh? Right, okay, so then we have a machine gun, a deployable machine gun, uh, decent fire power and rate of fire, capable of being redeployed as the battle deems necessary, also needs to be manned, 11 damage, 16 armor pen, 6 shot burst count, 30 range, Accuracy's pretty much crap. Uh, 20 seconds to warm up is a very long time. If you remember the, uh, um, Coloss mechanoid colossal thing with the, you know, cannon on his back, he takes 25 seconds to warm up, so, yeah, and you know how long that took if you've seen that episode so that is a long time anyway kinetic sniper turret 20 damage 30% armor pen 3 burst uh, shot count 40 range uh, and 90% to 85% 2.9 second cooldown 5 second warm up takes a decent bit of power though 700 on that turret with long range precision kinetic cannon can be redeployed has slow rate of fire and is less durable easily destroyed when exposed to battle yeah that's something I want to put a lot on the build with right okay so then we got a rocket launcher or a missile launcher I should say uh, which basically means uh, Ah, yes, you gotta make either armor piercing missiles or frag missiles for it. Uh, uh, which I assume is something that we have to make in here now. Uh, let's see. Um, research. Which one was the missile? Uh, no, that was the energy. That's the shard one. Dang it, which one? Was it you? Ah, uh, missile launcher. Yeah, it was the Grey Dell defense. Okay. So, let's see. Is there any Grey Dell defense on here? somewhere just ain't sure where uh, oh you know what it might actually be under its own uh, thing too uh, let's see complex yeah, I ain't seen it there um which one needs is the Graydale one see that's the problem I don't know what the uh, what are you? You're, no, you're the modular one. Are you Graydale? No, you're kinetic. You're molten. You're crystal. You have to be the... Huh. Combat mini grenades. Buckshot launcher. Smoke launcher. Wait, where... I don't remember all those either. What the heck? I oh. uh. Huh. No. Okay, so it ain't under you. It wouldn't be 
be under you because you're a totally different group. You're the Pharaohs. It wouldn't be under you. It wouldn't be under you because you're the Crucibles. Uh, no. Okay, so and you're the Kinetics. And you were the Molten one. Yeah, you're the Molten one. And you're the Crystal one. Which is the emitters. Okay, so where the hell do I make... Wait, is there a different thing under production, maybe? Energy kinetics, crystalline equipment. Huh? Equipment assembly. Pulse charge, mortar. Okay, wait, here we go. Frag missile and armor piercing missile. There they are. Okay, I figured they had to be there somewhere. So, frag missile, let's get those off of there. Frag missile is one component, 15 gun fuel, 35 steel. And armor piercing missile is one component, 15 gun fuel, 35 steel. So, they both cost the same, so. Alright, so anyway, that's what the missile launcher requires to fire. Now, it's 30 range, 75% to 65%, 0 0.5 second cooldown, 1.5 second warm up. So, it, it's a pretty fast firing missile launcher, I'll give you that. Uh, compared to some of that stuff, man, it's pretty quick. Uh, Smart Mine. Let's see. 50 damage, standard 200%, 400%. Uh, 10 armor, penetration, 5 range. Uh, 4.8 second cooldown. This radius of 1, 2.5 second warm up. It's a semi-intelligent mine that shoots high explosive projectiles to nearby target. The danger range is much wider than that of an ordinary landmine. It can be rearmed with HE shell Has, because it is widely known how dangerous this little thing is. Enemies will destroy it as soon as they see it. Doesn't explode when destroyed. Okay, so rearm cost is a high explosive shell. So, oh, uh, come on, people. I'm not done building these things yet. What the hell? Apparently not. Um, come on. You're not doing nothing. Why are you not building? Come construct this thing. Uh, I guess you were coming up. No, you weren't. No. Serexo is supposed to be coming to f make this one. Where is Serexo? I have no idea. Who the hell knows? Ah. Alright, so now we have the test man working on that one. Uh, still no sign of Zerexa. Most likely coming clean from the other side of the map. Because that's how they usually are doing. So you know what, Ram? You can come do this. I don't care if Zerexa is doing it. They can go piss off. Uh, Vivo, uh, you, I know Emma was coming, but Emma is probably on the other side of the map as well, so. Oh, there's the Rexa finally coming. Uh, alright, let's see. Damn it. Dang, camera. Okay. What do we have here? We got the Harvester Cannon. Type of burst laser emplacement is called harvesters. 
This can be interfered from its or inferred from its name. This heavy weapon turret can mow entire enemy groups down in no time. I doubt that. Uh, 12 damage, 18% armor pen, 8 burst count, 35 range, crappy accuracy, 1 second cooldown, 1.95 second warm up. So at least it's fast for a crappy weapon. Uh, 950 watts of power to use it. Uh, kinetic sniper, did we look at that one? I think we did. Uh, long range kinetic can be redeployed. Slow rate of fire, less durable, easily. De yeah, we did read that one. Okay. Uh, this one here. AGS nest. Fortified on Mac grenade launcher. Lovely. Good against slow moving masses, massed enemies. Yeah. 20 damage, 30% armor pen, 3 burst count, 30 range, uh, crappy accuracy, but I guess grenades don't need to be accurate, 1.5 second cooldown, 150 second warm up, holy, dang man that is slow as hell. Alright, smart mind we looked at, uh, what's na- ah, the molten cannon. Uh, enormous cannon that fires a projectile of molten metal, slower and clumsier than other. Portable infantry anti-armor weapons, but definitely more powerful. This ideal anti-mechanoid cannon. Uh, extensively employed in the ongoing mech war. Needs molten shell for firing. Uh, okay. Anyway, 40 range, 100% to hit. Warm up is 4 seconds. Uh, okay, so let's go look here. Uh, siege gun, molten shell. Alright, let's remove you. And the molten shell requires one chem fuel or one component, ten gun fuel, fifteen steel. Okay, so that's what that requires. Uh, apparently we finished the armor piercing missile. Oh, and we finished the other one too, apparently, the frag missile. Okay, so... How are we doing on these other things? Almost getting there? Somebody? Anybody? You, Luke? Alright, uh, test man is done. Uh, you can go work there. And you made us a wave emitter. This is a deployable, deployable defense that creates beams of microwave radiation to, to set enemies on fire. Doesn't cause direct damage, but prevents enemies from fighting properly. Will explode when destroyed. Standard 1 damage, <laughs> 1.5 armor pen, 4 burst count, 20 range. Which accuracy don't matter because um, I suppose uh, 0.75 second cooldown, 20% uh, direct hit chance, and miss radius of 1. And it's a power hog at 850 watts. Which isn't that surprising because most uh, things are. Um. How we doing up there, dragging your, still dragging your, your, uh, tools around there. How about we get that done quicker? Eh. Alright, so, um, I think Ram's almost done. Yep, Ram is done. 
this is the shard sentry an automatic automatic deployable defense with incredible high fire rate low damage and stopping power however make it more suited for indoor security turret than a perimeter defense turret except for explodes when destroyed 7 damage 35% armor pen 5 burst count 20 range uh, 90 to 85 and then you might hit about 55 if you go for a long shot and at least power wise it ain't terrible rearm cost you 10 plus still so uh, uh, alright Vivo, you have finished the barrage turret, which is an automatic, automated heavy turret with anti-mechanoid rocket launchers. Fires a salvo of micro rockets that deal area damage. Explodes when destroyed, like everything else. 18 damage, 27% armor pen, 8 burst shot count, 30 range. 11% hit chance, 1.5 uh, miss radius, and has a 4 second warm up. Takes 650 watts of power and 320 still to rearm it. You get 240 shots for you have to rearm though. Eh. I don't know if I like the whole explosion thing that probably do more damage. Uh, Hey, my long shooters, well, my good shooters come back now, after the battle was over. Uh, let's see, Dragon's still working, so is Gabin, Gabrin. Uh, I think those are the last of the items. Oh. I guess we could go up and see if they completed any of our uh, decoys up here, huh? Uh, they did, did do a couple. Um, I don't know which one. Why do they have the... The guns are like cross? Oh, I think I prefer the other ones better. Oh, but anyway, there they are. Uh, they have 105 hit points, where the other ones only have 30. So, I mean, they do cost more, but they have more hit points. So that's something, at least, I guess. All right. Uh, come on, you two. You're the last two old enough to show here. Seriously, how much more do you have to put it? Wow, okay, you got a lot more work to do. Uh, what about you? How much work do you have? Uh, you don't have a whole lot, but you, on the other hand, have a whole bunch. Um, how about we get somebody a little bit faster to come work on that? Uh, because, yeah, I get the feeling you're going to be there a while. Alright, come on, dragon. You're dragging your feet here. And test man, I hope that you can fly through that a little quicker than the other guy was. Eh, a little bit, but not a whole lot. Oh, my. Uh, other than being attacked, I didn't do a whole lot. Hey, you're back. Yes, I see. <laughs> Lad made it back. Um, we do have the uh, dinos. They were done in here. We put them in here. It's probably going to take about a day for them to grow up, though. So they might be back tomorrow. 
Might be out by tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, yeah, other than that, I don't... I worked on the prison area some more. It's coming along pretty well. So, I don't know. Ah, finally, dragon, you have finished the mortar. Let's see, a heavy plasma emplacement that fires a burst of slow-moving plasma orbs from afar. Hmm, that sounds interesting. 25 damage, 38 armor pen, 10 burst shot count, 500 range, well, that, <laughs> crap accuracy the whole way around. Uh, one second cooldown, that's not bad. Uh, miss radius of 7 and a warm up of 3.5 seconds. And a crap ton of power, as always. 1,550 watts, that is a lot of power. How are you doing down here? Eh, you're getting there. You only got 300 more to go. That's good. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, I am produced. That's from our Ambrosia people. Alright, come on. Get this one done, then we're done. Uh... Oh, did you finish? Yeah, molten shell. See, it don't tell us what... It says it requires a molten shell to fire, but it don't... It says 40 range, 100% hit chance. Miss is like 0 0.5. So it's rare that you're going to miss, but don't tell you how much damage you're going to do. Huh. Oh. Uh, who knows? Okay, so almost done there. Um, let's go over. Yeah, like I said, the prison's coming along. Uh, the first section here's done. It can hold up to seventy prisoners. That's how many beds I have in there right now? Uh. I'm probably going to put some uh, stuff in here for another episode later on. And then working on some other areas here. So, it's coming along slowly. Almost like Test Man coming along slowly. How we doing here? Uh, almost done, I think. Yeah, almost. Ah, uh, thank goodness. Almost done. Then we can call it a day. <laughs> uh, anytime you like. Um, almost done. And there we go. Beautiful. That took a lot of work. Okay, HMG nest <clears throat> the fortified machine gun nest with barricades capable of suppressing small groups while providing considerable protection must be manned 16 damage 24% uh, armor penetration 8 sh burst shot 32 range uh, crappy accuracy though unless you're from short range at 80%, but once you hit the medium, you're down to 55. Dang, again, 20 second warm up. That is slow. One second cooldown. Okay, so, wait, that ain't, uh, let's see, is it you? Yeah, you're the HM. You do 14 damage, 5 burst, 26 range. You have a warm up of 2.4 seconds and a cooldown of 2.6 seconds. So, while you are crappy as far as accuracy and pretty much damage, you, at least you're not slow. I don't get why that thing takes 20 seconds. That's insane. 
Oh, anyway, that would be it, I believe, for the securities. Uh, double checking that we didn't miss nothing again. <laughs> uh, no. I think we went over all that. Yes, we did. Wait, AGS nest. Did we go over the AGS nest? Uh, yeah, AGS. Yeah, okay, never mind. That was the grenade launching. Yeah, I remember now. Alright, well, we already looked at all that. Yes. Nothing new there. Okay. Yeah, I think we covered it all then. Alright, so. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff. Until next time, I'm out of here. Bye-bye.